All right, guys, so I was on my way to work uh, this morning, and I saw something kind of weird to the side of the road, and uh, sure enough, it actually ended up being a pretty decent-looking flip spot down kind of a little bit of a side road. So I'm actually here to check it out, and it's actually looking pretty cool. So check this out. So it's right on the edge of the road. I mean, this is like, this thing was huge. I don't know how much tin is actually like laying around, but I'm going to poke around for a second real quick. Here's a little flip. Let's check this out. See if this piece will flip. So eventually I'll probably uh, try to get some of the, uh, some more tin from the building out uh, around it, but this is what I've got so far. All right, so right there is my first piece of tin. So I put one little piece right here and I did just realize this. There's actually a nice flat rock there but it does provide something in the area for a snake to hide under besides this tin. And uh, it should actually get some decent sunlight from here, especially in the summertime. All right, so this piece I actually just left here because it's in kind of a, a decent spot. And um, I kind of like to leave the tin that's on the ground where it is because it has a better likelihood of getting stuff still. But then I got one piece over here by itself. I got a double stack right here really nice huge section right here dude i'm 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 actually really excited to hopefully get timbers at this spot because it is actually pretty good timber habitat around here i threw a little board right there got some more little pieces here a little piece over there i got a nice huge huge sheet right here a little one and then my last piece is this really really big piece right here which, as you can see, could potentially get some sun in the summertime. But uh, I feel like this is going to be a pretty good area. So if you're like me, you're a little bit interested to see uh, what this spot will potentially have in the future. So that's the only reason I shared this with you guys. Um, but I'm actually going to uh, head back home now. There we go. We got our first find of the night. And this is actually my first chorus frog of the year. That's pretty cool. I've heard these guys calling a ton recently, but first one, I'm going to get this guy off the road and uh, that might be the only find of the night, unfortunately. So after I cruised that frog, I wanted to come out here and potentially look around a little bit and see uh, if I can maybe get my eyes on any frogs or salamanders in this vernal pool or just anything hanging out. So I'm just going to shine and uh, hopefully we'll see something. So right there is our first sign of amphibian life. You can see him swimming around a little bit. Some uh, larval marbled salamanders. That is super cool. My guess is that these guys have been hatched for probably about a week or two now. But uh, this is the first time I've been able to get out here at night and uh, take a look at them. But that is super duper cool. So I just spotted something else pretty cool. On these uh, sticks right here, we've actually got some, what I think to be chorus frog eggs. I'm not sure, they look super small. Um, they're not in like a really big, oh, there's one right there, look at that. I did not even see that guy. That is so cool. So again, you can see there's eggs there, there's eggs just all over these sticks here. And then there's that guy or girl chilling right on that branch that's super cool so i also remembered somewhere over here oh yeah right here i've actually got a piece of plywood and i'm oh oh there's a little uh, there was a chorus frog but anyway before that guy rudely interrupted i'm trying to hold this with my arm and flip it nothing all right, well, I found another one of my pieces of plywood that I laid out here a while ago, and I flipped it, and I found something super duper cool. Right there, I don't know if you can see them too well, but that is a bunch of streamside salamander larvae attached to the bottom of my piece of plywood. That is so, so cool. This isn't exactly uh, normal streamside salamander habitat. They don't usually live in uh, these flooded wetlands like this, but... Uh, 
this is just a super, super cool example of uh, these salamanders just using a piece of my plywood. Dude, I literally, okay. So I came over to a little bit different of an area to flip. Uh, I knew I had some more boards over here and I flipped it. And at first I noticed right there is a streamside salamander, which is super, super cool. Um, first time I've ever got one under this piece. And then I looked down to the very bottom and right there is some more eggs. That is so, so cool. No way, there's actually another adult. That's insane, dude. A double flip with an egg mass under it. That is insane. All right, so I just discovered another of my pieces, uh, one that I completely forgot was here, a little piece of tin. It was completely covered in leaves. And boom, right there, another streamside salamander. That is so cool, dude. Dude, this is the, the most streamside salamanders I found in my backyard uh, ever, dude. Dude, that is so epic. I'm gonna move this guy a little bit down here and then I'm gonna lay this tin back down. All right, I'm gonna try to flip this on camera. I see the vine. Nope, nothing under there. So hopefully you guys were able to get a good enough look at uh, some of the stuff I found tonight. I don't know why I never thought to flip uh, all that stuff during the daytime. It just never crossed my mind until, of course, tonight when I was out here in the dark. And you literally can't see anything. So hopefully, hopefully you guys got a decent enough look at some of those salamanders and the egg masses. Um, but dude, that's just super, super exciting that we have a great population here of both marbled salamanders and stream sign salamanders. But dude, that's just, just super exciting and I really did not expect uh, to have this much success. All right guys, well me and my brother are out today um, searching through some wetlands in the area and uh, we're hoping to come across a couple new salamander species that I've never found in Tennessee. Uh, the biggest of those being the spotted salamander. Um, but there's a couple other species of mole salamander and, and just some new stuff that we could find. So we're just going to get to it and hopefully we can turn up some pretty cool stuff. So pretty quickly here, we've actually found something pretty cool. Right down there looks like uh, some spotted salamander larva. I can't overly tell, but I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Here's another little cluster. Guys, well, we have been flipping for well over an hour, and I finally came across my first find. Right there is a little marbled salamander, my first one of the year. Super cool. This is also a new county for me. And uh, a super nice looking individual. All right, well, I'm going to just let this guy go back under his log. Perfect, super cool. First salamander of today. Hopefully we can find a few more. Let's go, dude. Let's go. My first Tennessee spotted salamander. Let's go. No way. Look at that thing, that thing is is pretty big. Let's go. Our big target for the day. Let's go, dude. That is so cool, dude. That's such a, such a big salamander too. That is awesome. I wasn't expecting to get like a really nice big one, so that this is a, a nice surprise. All right, well, I'm going to let this guy back under his log. Come on, dude. Perfect, dude. Let's go. All right, guys, I just flipped another species of salamander, and what the world is this? Good grief. This thing is tiny. That is crazy, dude. All right, guys, so I'm not like 100% positive, but there is a decent chance that this is a four-toed salamander, which would be my lifer. 
Um, all right, well, super duper cool. Um, like I said, I will put the taxonomy up on the screen for you guys, but I'm pretty sure this is a four-toed salamander. Well, I'm just going to let this guy back under his log. Go on, dude. Super cool. What is it? Is it big? Oh. Come on. Okay. Let's go, dude. You know what that is? Do you know what it is or not? Uh, no. Slimy or? It's either, uh, I'm pretty sure that's a smallmouth salamander. It's either a smallmouth or a mole, but I'm pretty sure it's a smallmouth. Super cool, dude. Another lifer. Let's go. All right, I'm going to grab a photo real quick and then we'll get a closer look. Come here, buddy. The rest of the log is clear. There's so many thorns here. Yes, let's go. That is so cool. Dude, that is the fourth species of salamander that we've got here at this spot today. So cool. Nice flip, Mace. All right, super duper cool. I really wasn't expecting to have uh, this much variety, but uh, four salamanders, four different species. Hopefully we can uh, keep going. Bro, are you trying to fly? All right, well, super duper cool find. I'm going to uh, get this guy back under his log. Go on, buddy. Super cool. Nice flip, Mace. All right, guys, well, that is going to do it for today. We actually found quite a bit of really cool stuff. Um, basically, all the targets that I was hoping to find, we got today. But I think I'm gonna wrap this video up here. Hopefully, you guys uh, didn't mind having a lot of salamanders in this video. Hopefully, in the next couple of weeks, we will be uh, getting back out to find some snakes. It's gonna warm up a little bit, but I will see you guys then.